Okay, I'm just going to talk about California mastitis test. A very simple cow side tool that can be used to monitor infections in others. Remember, we're talking about subclinical mastitis and cell count issues. We often can't, we won't see the changes in the quarter or the milk itself. So what we're trying to do is trying to identify them. It's very useful um, when we're making decisions on farms. So it's a tool that farmers need to get comfortable with using. And this is just your typical paddle. I always put the handle where the tail is. So I'm going in from behind front left front right back right back left and what we're doing is we're trying we're trying to get an equal volume of milk of each of the sections of the paddle obviously get two one or two squirts just let them on the ground and then fill the paddle with three to four squirts uh, and then you can tip the paddle to make sure you have an equal volume of milk in each of the quarters then you're adding your solution your California mastitis test solution to each of the wells in the paddle and you're gently swirling so your hand action is really important you give it about 10 seconds you're looking for a gelling reaction uh, on, with the solution the paddle so an even equal volume of milk an equal volume of solution you're looking for a gelling reaction and that's indicating that there's uh, infection in that order over 400,000 somatic cells so the agent this reagent is reacting with white blood cells that cause that gelling so the more gelling you have the higher the cell count is it's a tool you need to get used to yourself to be comfortable with and um, it's very valuable on farm if you think about it, at the start of lactation when we're putting cows into the tank for the first time and we're doing a CMT test on every cow and every quarter we're really putting a safety net on pick up high somatic cell count uh, infections early on in the lactation cycle before they start milking or going to the tank and uh, when we have mastitis problems and we have cell count issues and we want to identify problem cows is really valuable when we want to identify problem quarters now it becomes really useful as well when we're making decisions based on our milk recording so if we're looking at milk recording we're looking at our persistently infected cows our recently infected cows and we're deciding uh, on what's the history of that cow what quarter is it um, will I treat it will I dry her off and all those decisions are helped by identifying the quarter and understanding then maybe uh, after treatments we can go back again and CMT test those quarter or that affected quarter to see if we got a resolution and then if a cow's reoccurring remember when we have high cell count cows and they're reoccurring the, the likelihood of treatment dramatically drops off and they're the source of infection for other cows in the herd so a CMT test is a tool every dairy farmer should get comfortable with and I've been using it for the first time in a, in a few months this morning and again it's uncomfortable at the start when you get used to into it um, it, it, it becomes very easy obviously between cows you need to give it a good clean and a good wash um, uh, but it, the CMT California mastitis test is a very valuable tool when we look at part of our milk quality control